here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this really cute place card for your holiday table. Great for Thanksgiving. And this really neat little easel to hold it. I think this would be darling around a Thanksgiving table, even for the kids' table. And then afterwards, you have this cute um, tag that you can use as a bookmark or a little decoration. I'm gonna use some of my favorite supplies from Paper Mart today. Paper Mart is a sponsor of our video and you can find them online at www.papermart.com. And of course, I'll have links below to all of these wonderful products. Now this is brand new. This is kind of like a, uh, it's new to me. It's kind of like a crocheted lace. And look at this. There are 10 yards. This is a Nita White cotton crochet lace. And I just want to show you how well it takes dye. Now, uh, like, well, a year or two ago, I showed you how to make these spray inks. And I'll put a link to that tutorial so you can check that out using those awesome Paper Mart spray bottles. And they still haven't clogged a couple years later. Um, this takes dye so well. And we're going to use these beautiful doilies. And these are the square doilies. And I've been using their round ones for a long time and I really like these square ones and we're gonna dye that with some of the brown ink and I'm just gonna show you the difference here I uh, dyed this kind of give it a tea dye look with the brown ink and here is some of that cotton uh, crochet lace I did look how dark and how well it took that dye so think about that when you're shopping for supplies get stuff you can dye and use for all different sorts of projects I'm gonna use some Baker's twine we're gonna use paper straws for our little easels and uh, some other basic craft supplies that you have on hand such as adhesive and and, um, stamps. So what we're going to do first is um, grab a tag and these are the large unstrung merchandise tags, shipping tags rather, and I'll put a link below to those. And you'll notice that on one side you've got this shiny laminated uh, reinforcement area and on the other side it's plain so we want the, the plain side up. And these are roughly three inches by six inches. And what we're gonna do is take a doily that we've dyed. Now I did this already, I just sprayed it and dried it um, so I wouldn't have to waste time on camera and I'm just gonna eyeball it, flip it over and just trim around the tag, just like that with my paper crafting scissors. Don't worry if you don't have it exactly perfect around the bottom and side because we're gonna, um, we're gonna neaten that up so don't worry about that. Okay, now I want to use just some white glue and I have it in this really tiny fine tip applicator. Makes it easy to, to glue on a precise things like this because you don't want to have, um, you don't want to have the glue seeping out between the holes. So I'm just here and there putting some on. You don't have to glue every little spot because we're layering things on top of it. And then some of that adhesive will seep through the holes and, and it will be fine. All right, so we got that on our tag, just like so. And now I want to put some of my um, my hand dyed lace and I think I'm going to use the orange because I used purple on the last one that I just showed you. And I actually let some of the browns and purples kind of mix a little bit on the lace so I'd get kind of a vintage look. I like to use hot glue for um, thick laces like that. You wouldn't want to use it on anything too thin because it would seep through. But it's perfect for this and then it will grab instantly. And I'll trim off the excess uh, before I'm done. Just be gentle when you tap it down that you don't burn your fingers. I'm going to grab a piece of Baker's Twine right here and add that to the hole. And I'm just going to fold it in half and push the fold through. But you could, you could tie it in a loop if you want to. This could also even be reused as a gift tag. It would be a great way to make a gift tag for a holiday present. Sometimes when I'm feeling um, like I don't really have very much motivation or inspiration, I'll just sit down with my favorite supplies and make a bunch of gift tags because I know they'll be useful and um, that's just something I can do while I'm like watching television or just listening to the radio or listening to an audiobook so I like to have them going. And you'll notice I don't have my fabric scissors here so I'm kind of like butchering that with my paper scissors. All right, um, and then something else I did was I took some of the scrap bowl, uh, bowl, I can't say it, burlap, <laughs> scrap, bur scrap burlap uh, from the other day, and I die cut this leaf, and I also die cut it out of crepe paper so I can make a cute little embellishment like that. And here's another leaf that I cut out of crepe paper. Now I want to show you these different. Um, these different sizes. Uh, the crepe paper is also from Paper Mart and this really delicate leaf cut really well from the crepe paper but if I tried to cut that from burlap it would fall apart. So burlap is a very loose weave fabric. You just want to keep that in mind when you are um, when you are thinking about what you might want to do with it. But die cutting burlap in basic big shapes is really trendy now and um, looks really really great especially on fall themed crafts. I'm going to put my leaf down here and then I'm gonna glue this one down. I think I'm gonna use a little hot glue on that one because I got a bigger 
I got a bigger surface. I don't have to worry about burning myself so much. Ooh, and I'm probably using a little too much glue there. Don't use that much. It's unnecessary. I got some asbestos hands here. I don't have to worry about getting burned too much. I'm so used to it. All right, and then I want to put that right on top. And so I don't burn myself. I'll put the uh, glue right on the leaf there. And a little bit will seep out, but I don't think it's really going to show that much. Uh, right like that. Hopefully I have it lined up. I might have the leaf backwards, but I'm not going to worry about it. And then maybe I just top it off with a cute little button. I like these little wooden buttons. They're kind of they're kind of fun. Put that right on there. And then to make the name, um, I'm going to share my little one of my little stash buster tricks. Um, whenever I'm trimming cardstock to make cards or on scrapbook pages or whatnot, I save all the little um, all the little off cuts like this because they're perfect for stamping on um, names or titles or sentiments on my card. So it's really handy and it saves me some work. So what I'm going to do is I'll stamp my daughter's name, my daughter Lila's name. I made one for Maisie, so I got to better make one for Lila too, or there'll be there'll be dissension in the ranks here. All right, so I'm just going to stamp Lila L. I and I want the lowercase L. Here we go. I like these little small wooden stamps because they're so easy to put a little sentiment or name on something. You can get them in a couple different fonts and um, they're super handy. All right. And then I want to V notch the ends. So I have kind of like a little banner. And I'm going to show you a little trick about gluing this on so it looks a little extra special. Now they have dies that will do this. But uh, there's no way I'm paying for a die when I can do that. Just as easy as can be. All right, so now I've got my little tag here. I'll put this back in the thing. So I like to bend it a little bit, okay? And then just kind of glue it down just from the edges. And you want to use hot glue or glue dots for this because you want a quick grab so it'll keep that dimension. And I, I mean, I wouldn't puff it too much if you want to use it for bookmark later, but just a little bit of a puff will be just fantastic. Put that just like that. And now all we need to do is make that little easel. And these easels are really cute for other projects too, such as holding um, photographs. So here, I'll show you the one I've already made. This time we're going to use purple straws. These are just um, 10 pack paper straws. I think they're about 89 cents a pack. They're not very expensive. And you're going to need four. Okay, your first step is just kind of arrange it like the letter A. You might want to do this um, it's not really, just try to keep it even. You don't have to like put it on a grid or anything, but I would just try to keep it fairly even. And then, um, what I do is I just put like a little dab of hot glue on a silicone mat. Okay. Just a little dab like that. And I'm going to put each end in that. I'm just going to use this as a guide. How far apart did I have those? I just want to move the legs a little bit closer together there. All right. Now, hopefully I have enough glue there to hold it. And then you want to have the uh, little crossbar piece. So I'm going to put another little bit of glue about an inch and a half to two inches up on each side. Just want to try to keep it fairly level. So, I mean, you could probably even just kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can always snip one of the legs of the straw a little bit if you needed to. There, you can see that. And then uh, we're going to let this dry for a couple seconds. All right, it's been about, I would say, two minutes maybe. And um, then you just want to kind of arrange. And we've got our we've got our two, our three sticks that we glued together and we got our last straw there. So you just want to kind of arrange it. And the nice thing about the silicone mat is it's going to grip it a little bit. So once you see that you have that about the way you want it, just want to add a little bit of glue. I just kind of like to let it drip. And then just let that dry. And there it is, all dry and ready for the place card we just made. Check that out. Isn't that cool? I want to thank our sponsor, Paper Mart, for supplying all of the wonderful products we use today. You can find them at www.papermart.com, where we make you look even better. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out all of our other fall crafting ideas. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much. Until next time, happy crafting.